In the last 24 hours, I have tested one of the most promising potential winning products I have ever tested before. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly where I found this product, why I decided to test it, why I was so excited about this product, what happened with my ads in the last 24 hours, and what I'm planning to do with this product in the future. Let's get going. Now, it's worth to mention that I started testing this product only 24 hours ago, but I actually found this product over two weeks ago, and I have been trying tracking this product every single day very carefully to make sure that it is on an uptrend, to make sure that it continues selling in more and more pieces every single day, just to be 1000% sure that before I jump on the product, it really has the highest chances of becoming winning product for me. Now I found this product using Mania, and Mania is one of many different product research tools currently on the market, it's just what I'm using right now. I think it offers good options and it's way cheaper than AdSpy which is what I used to do before. So yeah, that's what I'm using right now and that's where I found this product. If you would like to check it out and try out Mania, there's a link in the description of this video. It is an affiliated link if you decided to use the paid plan. It helps this channel and helps me to continue test new products. But at the same time, it's all up to you, no pressure at all. Nevertheless, I found this product there and immediately after checking the ads of the competitor, I could see that it has crazy engagement. Like people were commenting under the ads like every minute. As you can see, even today, like two and a half or so weeks later, people are still commenting under this ad every couple of minutes. As you can see, 11 minutes ago, 14 minutes ago, 17 minutes ago, 22, 24, 57, one hour ago, one hour ago, two hours ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, like crazy, crazy, crazy engagement. And I've been tracking engagement of, of this competitor every single day since I found it. So that was already very assuring that this could be a winning product for me. So then what I did is I took the link of the store from the competitor and I pasted it in Shop Hunter. Now, Shop Hunter helps you to track the sales of any Shopify store. Is it accurate? I would say that it is probably 90% accurate, like mostly accurate. I tracked a couple of my own stores and of my friends' stores and it seems to be pretty accurate. So I kind of do believe in those numbers with some margin, if you like, right? Now, if you would like to try out Shop Hunter, there's a link in the description of this video. Again, it's an affiliated link, but again, it's what helps me to keep testing the products I'm testing and giving all of the info to you guys. Nevertheless, what happened with this product is my competitor started testing this product on the 11th of July. And this is exactly when, basically, maybe a couple of days later, I actually started tracking this uh, store. And every day I was logging in, I could see that they are getting more and more and more and more and more sales and orders every single day. Just look at this uptrend. It was crazy. And I was like, the longer I was tracking it, the more excited I was getting about this product. And the more I was checking their ads and seeing people get going crazy about this product every day, I was like, this is, this is going somewhere, right? As you can see, they started with only five orders on the 11th. And then recently they had 37 older orders and almost $3,000 in sales in one day. Now, then yesterday it dropped, but it could be a slower day. Maybe they had issues with ad account, like there could be many reasons. But immediately the day later, um, which was basically that was two days ago and this was yesterday, immediately day later, they jumped up high again, two and a half thousand dollars in sales, 33 orders. And today they are already at 1,200 in sales, 18 orders and the day isn't finished. It isn't even a half day in, in the US. So this, this is very, very promising. But the reason I started testing it yesterday and I didn't wait any longer is because I also heard one of the well-respected YouTube dropshipping gurus mentioning the, this product in their recent videos. So I was like, okay, that's that's it. That's a sign now. I see engagement on the ad. I can see they are consistently, slowly and slowly, surely scaling this product. So they must be profitable. And now I hear another guru mentioning this product as well. I was like, this is a sign for me to, to make it happen. Now, here's what happened. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to test this product on TikTok or Facebook. Facebook. And I asked around in different Discord communities, I asked around a couple of my friends um, whether it is a good product to test on 
TikTok. And most people said that definitely the, the, this niche is very hot on TikTok. I should definitely give it a go on TikTok. But my competitors were doing so well on Facebook. So I was like half and half. I wasn't sure what to do. Eventually, I decided that screw it. I'm going to test it on both platforms at the same time. And basically, four hours after I released the ads on both platforms, I had my first order. And the first order was worth $178. Mind-blowing. That was huge for me. I, I was like, what's, what's happening here? So one person ordered four pieces of this uh, product. And I was like, okay, this is a great beginning. So let's jump into both of the platforms, TikTok and then Facebook separately, and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened next. So I started, like I said, with TikTok. Now on TikTok, I decided to go with two CBO campaigns. Both campaigns were uh, at $50 daily budget, and I decided to test broad, basically, targeting. So targeting US, UK, Canada, and Australia and basically leave it open, no interests, just basically ages 18 plus. And the second campaign, I decided to do exactly the same, but this time add interest into targeting to basically target it better. And I don't know why everybody on YouTube say, is saying that with TikTok, when you're running TikTok ads, you should go broad because it gives you the best results. I disagree because just look at those numbers. My targeted campaign, even though the CPM was basically $4 more expensive, the click-through rate was so much better. Cost per click was a lot cheaper than with the broad campaign. The broad campaign costed me $2 per click, whereas the targeted one only $1 per click. So after about $15 to $16 spend, I decided to switch off the broad campaign because it was just not doing very well. Well, and I left only the targeted one on because I wanted to limit the amount of money I'm spending on testing those ads, right? Because previously I would be spending way too much money on testing. I want to be very conservative this time. And yeah, surely enough, this one huge sale actually came from TikTok. And I was very surprised about that because apparently everyone says that on TikTok, you should be testing, you know, low ticket products. You know, people are not paying a lot uh, on TikTok, etc., etc. But there you go, $170, one order just from TikTok, right? Unfortunately, after running uh, this ad for the rest of yesterday and half of the day today, it spent $73 and I didn't receive any more sales. So even though, yes, it's good, I'm still profitable, but probably all of the other orders I'm going to get are not going to be quadrupled orders, if you like, that that was one off. Um, so paying $73 per order is definitely not a sustainable, it's not profitable. So I decided to switch it off, especially that I didn't really receive any add to carts. I received maybe two more add to carts after spending $73. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give up on TikTok, maybe come back to it later, but I'm going to see what Facebook will bring for me, especially that oh, those type of products are doing well on Facebook and my competitor is doing well on Facebook with that as well. Now, it's worth to mention that I created crazy good, in my opinion, ads for this product. And the reason I say that is because for the first time, I decided to focus on video ads as the first thing uh, that I do. Usually, I would leave it at last. I wouldn't have the mental energy to actually do it well, but this time I really put everything I got into it. I decided to really research my customers. I read all of the comments under competitors' ads. I went to Amazon to read the reviews, and I basically put the ads to together based on what people are saying, right? And they were looking very high quality. And by the way, if you would like to see exactly what those video ads are, the exact video ads I was running, the entire store I built for this product, and even the product itself, it's all in my Discord. Now, what I'm planning to do on my Discord is to build very high quality Discord community where people are 
not there to sell courses or coachings, but to actually push each other forward, to help each other to succeed and be there for each other. So this is a paid Discord, but it's priced very cheaply, probably the cheapest on the market. And the only reason it is paid, it's because first of all, it helps me to spend money on all of those ads. I'm losing a lot of money doing all of those tests and sharing them with you guys. But also this keeps the quality of the community uh, to a high standard. And recently I decided to include a bonus inside of this community, which is one of the courses that I created in the past, showing you everything I did to build successful freelancing business with zero money. So if you're looking to get some money to start dropshipping, but you, you have no budget, maybe that's something you would like to look into, start freelancing on the side to get some money and then reinvest it in dropshipping. I'm going to drop this entire course as a bonus in this Discord community as well. So all of that is inside of the Discord. There's a link in the description. If you would like to join in, please do. But if you can't afford it, you don't have money, don't stress out, you don't have to do that. I'm still going to be giving you as much as I can here on YouTube, trying to guide you and basically share with you everything I know, okay? So nevertheless, I took the same ads and I started running them on Facebook. and. I decided to create five separate ad sets with different targeting and put $10 per day for every single one of them. So yesterday for the entire day, the click through rate of all of those ads was just crazy. It was really, really good in my opinion. Uh, the cost per click for Facebook especially was pretty good in my opinion as well, especially yesterday. Today it slowed down a little bit, but yesterday the cost per click was even better than, than today, right? Maybe today TikTok, uh, Facebook is targeting a different audience to, to test out different pockets of audiences. Nevertheless, it's still very good. However, I haven't received even one ad to cart from those ads. So I don't know if maybe I think that my ads are so good, but they are really not. Even though I put really a lot of energy and research into them, I made sure that my entire store is very branded and everything else. But yeah, those ads are just not converting. I decided to still leave them running for the rest of today until all of them spend at least $20 each because then I will be 100% sure that, yeah, it's not working for me. But it's so hard to believe that it is not working because if I look at the competitor, if I look at their ad and I see that other people in dropshipping industry are also noticing this product, it's so tough to say it's not a winning product and just give up on this. Like, I don't, I don't really understand, especially after the order that I received yesterday. And I'm gonna refresh the screen so you can see that it's true. Um, I really don't know what happened, but yeah, it is what it is. For now, like I said, I'm gonna continue running Facebook ads for the rest of today, see what happens. And then if I'm not gonna get any traction, I'm gonna switch them off and go back to the drawing board and see what I could do next. If you guys have any ideas of what I could do with this product, um, what you think I could do better or yeah, if you have an idea, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I, I guess, I think I need help. Nevertheless, it is what it is. I'm going to continue testing more products. In fact, I'm testing even more products right now as we speak, and I'm going to be making more videos about those tests as well and giving you everything here on the plate. But if, for now, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Again, leave your comment down below. Help me push those videos to more people who need help. And for now, that's it. And I'll see you in my next one. Take care.